All right, guys, so now that you've got the pulley on there, the belt on there really tight by um, measuring it, putting this piece back in and then pushing it all the way back. It's really smooth. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to this part here. All right, so we've taken the pieces we, we made earlier and we've actually just attached them to the sides. But there's one thing that I noticed that we have to do. We have to reverse the way this screw here on the bottom sets. So we're just going to take it out and we're actually going to set it from the underside here. So let me adjust that to both of them. Because we're doing a little trick that I saw um, Stefan on the, on the boards do, which is add the L brackets to the bottom section of the extrudes instead of the top like the manual shows so that way it leaves room on the top to use your standard corner brackets and I'll show you what I mean here in a second so instead of putting it here on the top which I'm not I don't even think it's supposed to be like anyway you're gonna put them into the bottom extrudes here just like that and then you're going to set them in there so I'm trying to find a spot that it'll let me attach these square there it goes okay so so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these first two screws okay so we're gonna set those loose we can take this side out again really quick. What we're going to do, we're going to hold this up and we're actually going to set these two bottom screws from the bottom here. But you notice how I have this giant gap here. That's not supposed to be like that. So I'm actually going to loosen this one again, close that gap and then retighten it. So now when you tighten these two, it should be good to get these things nice and flush. So we'll tighten that side and then we're going to do the same thing on the other one. Okay, so this side actually did shift on me unlike the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen it from this side, from the back side here, and then we're going to close it and then tighten it there. Good. So now we're nice and tight. I'm going to double check these bottom ones. Perfect. So now we got that side in. And it's actually a lot more sturdier than I expected it to be. Here we go. And now we're going to go ahead and do the other side here. Just like this. Oh, but first thing we got to do is reverse these set screws like we did the other ones. And we're going to repeat the process. Okay, so we reverse the set screws and we're going to put them in here. And we're going to try and get this as uh, close as we can to get it to flush. Actually, what I'm going to do first is... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to screw these ones on first so they're nice and flush and square. Okay. So I've set these bottom ones first and now I'm going to work on the side ones. Okay, so before we move on, I bet some people are actually wondering why we decided to mount these L brackets lower instead of putting it in the top extrude hole like it shows in the photo. The reason why you do this is because now you can actually add those corner brackets that we're all used to on the tarantula that will fit here and here now. So you can actually add, I believe, two of them on each side and it would make it infinitely times sturdier. So 